And again, this this is a different application in my mind for robots or a system of robots in that it's not about getting more efficiency day to day, which it does do, but it's all about getting density. Yeah, as you were saying, Joe, we have a, um, we've designed the first 3D storage technology uh, that's leveraging every cubic um, foot of um, space available in a warehouse. I'm going to play this video now. So we're, our inspiration comes from nature. Leaf cutter ants store things in three dimensions around vertical shafts. Right. So those are so there's so for those of you who aren't seeing, it's just a whole bunch of ants carrying leaves around, and you see how efficient and effective they are, and they all seem to love their job. <laughs> so yeah, and 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 they're really exploiting um, uh, all the space available in three dimensions. So what we do is that um, you can imagine typical storage with 2D uh, shelves, with hives and shelves. So we compact in that into a 3D structures with robots evolving at the top of the structure. So the structure can be as high as 30 feet or it's not even limited in height, but we can go to the, to the, up to the ceiling of, of the warehouse. And we have these robots uh, diving into vertical shafts. And I'm gonna pause the video here and putting away here on the video a uh, the bin that they were carrying and retrieving another bin. So they're evolving in the 3D structure. There's no aisle, there's just vertical uh, shafts that allow the robot to um, have access to every single SKU store in the, stored in those uh, bins. The bins can be split in um, uh, different partitions, so you can really store a lot of SKUs in the typical system. I'm going to play the video again. So once we've put away the, the bin that we were using before, we are retrieving another one uh, in which there's an item that we need for a particular order. And then we're going to see the robot going to the bottom layer of the structure. And that's literally, I'm going to pause here, it's literally a saltation layer. So we're, we're doing two things with the structure and with the system. We're compacting storage but we're also getting rid of saltation. And for people who are familiar with um, uh, logistics and warehouse, uh, intra logistics in warehouses, saltation can take a lot of space because it's conveyors position in a 2D environment and, and, and taking um, uh, a lot of your square footage. Um, so with this saltation layer at the bottom, we're able to sequence the products and present them to a human picker could be also a robotic picker, but a human picker that can um, now pick the items that are needed for the orders. Our interface for picking is very uh, like super intuitive. It's uh, using all the principle of um, pick to, to light uh, systems and it's guided uh, by instruction that are based on, on drawings and avoiding. Um, you don't even need to, to speak English to use, uh, to use this system. Right. And if I could make a point here is, is I'm watching the video here for those of you who don't get to, it's basically bringing these bins or bringing um, the retrieving and then bringing to an operator who is able to easily do this work. So they're not running around. They're not walking miles. They're just they're sorting, doing the kind of the human work that's necessary. And I guess uh, it, it it's really an impressive system because, again, you're making life so much easier for the operators. And and also you're getting so much more density out of your location because there's not all that sortation space. There's not all those aisles. And by the way, nobody's getting on a ladder and having to go uh, halfway to the ceiling to check on some inventory. 